welcome to Women's Financial Empowerment Group. I'm your host, Ruth Agbaloso. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, like this video, and share it with your friends. Oh, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll know whenever I upload a new video, which is usually twice a week. But this week, I'll be uploading a new video every day. If you've been here before, thank you so much for your support. Please go ahead and like, share, do all those wonderful things. Now, today's video is the day four video of Think It For Me Self-Care for 2020. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing all the self-care posts and it's just rubbing up my engines here. Thank you so much for posting and using the hashtag and just sharing with your friends. It's been a wonderful ride so far, and I hope that you continue to work on your self-care as we go on. We only have a few more days left, and remember, on the seventh day at midnight, I will announce the winner of the grand prize worth over $400. If you haven't had a chance to register for the campaign yet, it is not too late to register. A lot of people did not get the notification in time to go ahead and start on Sunday. So go ahead and click on the link in the description so that you can register and it will be a great way to support our sponsors. After you register, there will be a follow-up email. Please go ahead and click into that email and follow the instructions. It's really important. So check your spam because unfortunately sometimes that's where it ends up. So I'm looking forward to seeing you post and encourage others. So. Let's get into this video. Today's video is about self-care as it relates to physical activity. So I just wanted to share with you some quick tips on how you can incorporate physical activity into your daily routine without spending a lot of money. Well, most people talk about going to the gym and with COVID, it's been a little bit tricky for a lot of us to get out and go to the gym. So what can you do if you can't go to the gym? There are tons of online workouts that you can take part in. There's, of course, yoga and kickboxing and just your regular workouts. There's so many of that. But there's also going outside for walks. A lot of people like to do that still or a run or a jog. My favorite thing to do is dance. So I like to put on music that I like too and there's some specific ones that I really like and just dance. And if you feel intimidated about exercise programs or you find it hard to get out, it's very important that you still incorporate some physical activity. So I would definitely suggest putting on some music and dance. Of course, do it in your room if you don't want anyone to see you, but definitely do something to work on that aspect of your self-care. I hope you found this short, short video to be helpful. Um, please stay to the end of this video so that you can see some bonus footage. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share. And remember, change your mind, change your pocketbook. So for self-care for me, I like to prioritize things that are very easy because self-care cannot be difficult or I'm not going to do it. So I like tea. I like... Um, actually taking showers more than once a week. I like to, if I take a bath or something to actually use salts. Um, I like to use one ingredient stuff so that I don't feel like I'm loading my body with chemicals because for me that's a really important part of self-care. Um, I make my children go into their bedrooms at seven o'clock at night and they don't have to necessarily go to bed but that gives me a little bit of time in the evening 